There seems to be some confusion about the nature of Relative Mouse, what it does, what it achieves, and how it works. Um, this video is to debunk some of those myths and basically explain exactly what Relative Mouse is, what it's doing, and how it's functioning. You'll notice in the center bottom of the screen, uh, there's a little indicator. That's showing exactly what my mouse is doing as it moves. So if I move my mouse up, you'll see it indicates up. If I move my mouse down, indicates down. If I move it left or right, then you'll see that as I move it, it shows the movement, and then it um, when I when I stop moving, then it, it shows nothing. It just shows the. So if I launch, um, the premise of relative mouse is fairly straightforward. Um, it does not, in itself, give any additional output to your ship. Um, instead, it's something that affects the output of your mouse. Um, if you have a joystick, when you push a joystick in a direction, then it applies output in the direction you're pushing it, the rate at which you're pushing it. Um, if you take your hand off of the joystick, then the joystick will automatically center it. Let me turn on the mouse widget. And you see here how the mouse widget echoes what's happening on Noble. Currently I'm in flight assist off and I've got full relative mouse rate. It means it very quickly centers the mouse output giving. If I turn off relative mouse entirely, and you'll see I'm still in flight assist on, without any relative mouse, if I move my mouse in a direction, then it maintains a consistent output of the direction I put the mouse into. In relative, in flight assist on, this means that it continues outputting at a steady rate in whichever direction. Then I have to physically center my mouse to stabilize it. If I do the opposite direction, a push this time, you'll see I'm no longer moving my mouse. The game is continuing to read a mouse output with relative mouse off until I physically center my mouse. Now with a joystick you don't have to physically center it because it centers itself when you take your hand off of it. Now I turn on relative mouse. I set the relative mouse rate quite low. And I push, then you'll see it gradually reduces the amount of output. I push, it gradually reduces. And if I go to More moderate relative mouse setting, and it faster reduces the output, and it faster reduces. You'll notice that because I'm in flight assist on, the game uses the output to set a speed in flight assist on. So when I have an output speed, say I move it to 100% of full swim, then it will um, make my ship's movement match 100% of full capacity in flight assist on. If I have 50% full swing, then it will make it match to 50%. If I have it at zero, then it will make it match to zero. If I move to 100%, you'll see in flight assist on, it starts off at 100% and then it reduces me back down to match the relative mouse rate, moving it back to the zero point in flight assist on. And then you can see for full relative mouse rate in flight assist on, we have the same, but much faster.
And then if I go back, turn relative mouse off. And in flight assist on, you can see if I move my mouse to 100%, then it keeps on outputting at 100%. I then have to physically move my mouse back, 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 back to an imaginary zero point. This would be the same effect as in a joystick, simply taking a hand off the joystick. Then if I turn relative mouse back on. Oh no, let me let me show you the same in flight assist off. If I turn flight assist off, I output my mouse keeps on outputting, but I'm no longer moving the mouse. And this is with relative mouse off and flight assist off. Then I move my mouse back to the center point. You'll see it continues in that direction. If I move my mouse down, then it outputs. If I move my mouse back to a center point, it continues in that direction because the ship retains momentum in flight assist off. In flight assist off, the position at which you put the mouse, the output, is a rate of acceleration, not a set speed. So if I want to move the mouse a little bit, then you'll see with the mouse widget, maintaining the output in relative mouse off, I have stopped moving my mouse. But it's maintaining a rate of acceleration up until maximum speed of rotation. I move my mouse back to the imaginary center point, it retains that movement. And I have to move my mouse back down to apply oppositional output to start applying oppositional force. Stabilize. And then if I apply Slight relative mouse right, flight assist off. You'll see it brings the output back to the center, but it won't change anything about the rotation. I'm not moving my mouse anymore, the rotation still continues at whatever rate it was by the acceleration force I applied to it. With. I counter that and then take my hand away. Then I've applied oppositional force in the opposite to in the direction to slow down the speed of the rotor. Oh, great! Colonia stutter. We'll see how long this. There we go. Um, the oppositional force that I applied reduced the rate equal to the amount I applied it. When I took my hand off, it stopped applying the oppositional force. I took my hand off without relative mouse on, it would continue applying whatever rate of oppositional force I'd set it at. But it's not stabilizing me any further than I applied with the mouse directly myself. The same effect as pushing a joystick, taking your hand off, and the stick recenters itself. You still have to apply manually oppositional force to the stick. And then we can see the same at the different relative mouse. So I apply. I apply with my mouse acceleration downwards. Relative mouse centers the output. And it continues at whatever rate of rotation I'd accelerated it to with my mouse. If I apply in the opposite direction, I can slow it down. I take my hand off, it won't continue that slowdown. I still have to continue applying oppositional force to counter that existing momentum. So I can get myself to stay. And then finally, oh no. Oh. 
scroll relative mouse rate simply does the same process faster. I acceleration it reaches six point. I then have to apply counterforce myself. Some counterforce slows it down a bit. I have to apply full and equal counterforce to achieve stabilize. It won't stabilize for me. I'll do that again. This is maximum relative mouse rate. Slice assist off. My counterforce. I'm still moving in that same direction. It's not applying any further stabilization than I physically put into the mouse myself. And that's what relative mouse does. It does absolutely nothing in terms of applying any stabilization to it. All it does is centers your output. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it's explained some things and cleared things up and um, dealt with any confusion. That you Relative mouse does not apply any stabilizing effect. Only applies the effect of recentering the output of the mouse. If you didn't have it on in flight assist off, which it is possible to fly without relative mouse off, but if you didn't have it on in flight assist off, it has the effect of doubling up all of your movements. Having relative mouse it's the same as having a joystick that's in. Nothing more. The speed at which it can center itself may be more significant, and the ease with which it can center itself may be faster, smoother, because a mouse is mechanically different to a joystick. Relative mouse does nothing you cannot achieve with a joystick of the press. Thank you.